If you've ever shopped for shrimp at the grocery store in the US or eaten seafood at restaurants, well, there's a good chance that you've abetted slavery. Horrific accounts of forced labor in Thailand with thousands basically working as slaves in the shrimp industry have surfaced. And while governments around the world have urged Thailand to address human rights concerns, well, it's easier said than done. Tony Cheng reports. Forced labor, accidental death, even murder. But what's that got to do with the price of fish? Quite a lot, according to Nestle, who commissioned a report into working conditions in Thailand's fishing industry. Their findings were grim. Illegal migrants from Myanmar and Cambodia are routinely overworked and cheated out of their wages, many forced onto boats against their will. It's no surprise to Win Mo. He's worked in the fishing industry for 30 years. He wants to stay anonymous because he fears repercussions. There have been widespread reports of the fishing boat captains using violence. What's the worst thing you've seen in your career? When people work on the boat, sometimes they get sick. They don't have any energy and they're weak and they can't work. Then the captain would pour water on them and drag them out to work. And if they still couldn't work, they would get beaten. Nestle's report indicates that abuses like this exist throughout the industry, an industry that's worth $7 billion a year. And while Nestle says this sort of slave labor has no part in its supply chain, many large companies are happy to turn a blind eye. That and the failure of the government to enforce labor laws allows the boat captains to act with impunity. If 10 people go on the boat and one person dies or falls in the water and they've come back to the mainland, the authorities don't check and the captain doesn't care if people are missing. So they really should enforce the law better and protect the workers. And even if Thailand decides to do something about it, the abuses are spread across national boundaries. It's very easy for fishing boats to evade spot checks by heading straight down the river here out into international waters or going around the bend of this estuary into the waters of Myanmar, where the authorities have shown very little interest in protecting fishermen's rights at all. But even with the exposure of such appalling working conditions, the situation is not getting any better. In the old days, the conditions were much better, and the payments were no problem. But now we have a lot of difficulties. The fish that Nestle buys from Thailand is used in cat food that costs more per tin than the daily wages of the fishermen. The price of fish in Thailand, it seems, may be more than a human life. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Renong, Southern Thailand.